after the deadly heat, Taylor Swift performs at her rescheduled Rio show. On Monday night, Taylor Swift concluded her era's tour stop in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The previous weekend's performances had been plagued by technical issues due to extreme heat. Swift's tour has been relatively trouble-free up until Rio, despite a few weather-related issues in the past. Beginning in Arizona in March and ending in Los Angeles in August, the domestic leg of her era's tour was credited with stimulating local economies, increasing the use of public transportation, and sparking the summertime trend of friendship bracelets and girl power. But even before Swift hit the stage on Friday, her visit to Brazil took a tragic turn as concertgoers battled an oppressive heat wave. In a statement released on Saturday by the Brazilian Ministry of Culture, it was stated that Ana Clara Benavides Machado, a 23-year-old concertgoer, suffered a cardiorespiratory arrest shortly before Swift's performance on Friday at the Nilson Santos Stadium. This was Swift's first show in the city. Swift said in a statement that was uploaded to her Instagram stories at the time, I can't even tell you how devastated I am by this, and added, it is with a shattered heart that I say we lost a fan earlier tonight before my show. The Ministry of Culture stated in their statement that the city was experiencing record-breaking hate and humidity, though they have not yet disclosed the official cause of death. Due to the extremely high temperatures, Swift ultimately decided to postpone her SETI concert. She announced in a statement right before the show started that it would now take place on Monday. Due to the first-come, first-served nature of the Rio concerts, some attendees had to spend hours in the scorching sun standing in line outside the stadium in order to get a spot inside. At first, the stadium's organizers forbade visitors from bringing food or beverages inside. Swift even noticed people in the audience who were thirsty, stopping her Friday night's performance to ask security officers to assist those in need, as seen in a video uploaded to X. Swift's Rio shows were produced by Time for Fun, a Brazilian production company. On Saturday, the company released a statement detailing new safety precautions for the remaining shows, such as permitting fans to bring in plastic water bottles, adding more water stations inside and outside the stadium, and increasing the availability of medical resources. The temperature had dropped by Sunday and Monday, allowing Swift to perform without any problems. On Sunday, though, it seemed that she refrained from using some of the fire and pyrotechnic effects that are usually a part of her stage show.